This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Early on in this saga, after the attempted overthrow of the United States government, the coup that we all universally witnessed, the attempted reinserting of Donald Trump as president of the United States, even though he lost by over 7 million votes. 81 million of us voted for Joe Biden, and Donald Trump and his cohort of idiots attempted to take your vote away to effectively disenfranchise you, to reinsert extra constitutionally Donald Trump into power. And one of the things that I talked about early on was the fact that we're relying upon journalism and writers of books and and some of these other independent investigations and now the congressional investigation looking into the, the events of January 6th and what led to that. But we should be relying upon Merrick Garland. We should be relying upon the United States Department of Justice. We saw some cases in New York. One is now in limbo. I'm not sure if it's defunct or they're just circling the wagons. I don't know. But Letitia James is the New York State Attorney General and she's got a civil case, a civil case, only a civil case against Donald Trump. And then there is Fannie Willis, and we're going to talk about Fannie Willis today. She is the district attorney in Fulton County, Georgia, and she has a grand jury impaneled, a special grand jury impaneled, and now they have subpoenaed individuals related to the attempts to turn the election, steal the election for Donald Trump in Georgia. But before I get to that, I want to talk about something that a few weeks ago, I believe it was on June 22nd, on my podcast. If you don't know, I host a podcast with my uh, lovely, talented, and scholarly co-host, Brittany Page, twice a week. It's called I Doubt It Podcast. We've been, it's over 800 episodes. We've been doing twice a week for over eight years. And the other day, we were talking about the hearings and and what, what we're surprised about and what we're pleased about with the, the information that's coming out of these hearings. And I, I, I'm going to play you a 51-second clip from the show. It's not just a shameless plug, although you should check out the show. Uh, it, it is something that I said weeks ago now about the real risk for Merrick Garland not doing his job. And it's not just that Donald Trump will be let off the hook. It's that he's giving Donald Trump an inroad into reputability, into saying that, you see, it was a perfect call. I did nothing wrong. Listen to this excerpt, and then we'll talk about it when I read this article from the New York Times. That's been another remarkable aspect about these hearings is so much of the reporting that came out at the time when all this was happening has only been reinforced by all the additional information that we're learning through the hearings. And although this call was remarkable at the time, hearing it again, it just makes it so clear that Donald Trump is in urgent need of consequences. Yeah. And if he does not receive consequences for this, if, if the people around him, Rudy Giuliani, John Eastman, I don't know what that, I don't know what message that sends to people that rich people exactly. are protected from legal consequence. Well, I'll tell you what it'll do. It's going to send a message to Donald Trump and Donald Trump supporters that if they'd had the evidence against Donald Trump, he'd actually done something wrong. Biden's Justice Department would have held him accountable. It's going to be a campaign message. Mm -hmm. It'll be another situation where he's saying, I'm totally exonerated, totally exonerated. If I had done anything wrong, if th that wasn't a perfect phone call, they would have dragged me through the courts. But they didn't because I'm totally innocent. It's a failure on the part of the Joe Biden Justice Department led by Merrick Garland. Yeah. How am I wrong there? How am I wrong? Even today, I read comments. I'm recording this yesterday. To, to, uh, I'm recording this yesterday for you, today for me. <laughs> um, I saw comments today based on one of the videos that I posted uh, where I offered, proffered some criticism for Merrick Garland. 
and I saw a comment that said, thorough is better than quick, Jesse. Well, we are, we're on a timeline. So don't let perfect be the enemy of finished. Because if we don't, we will have a Republican administration that will squash this investigation and it'll go nowhere. And there will be no consequence for Donald Trump because he is right now accelerating his bid for the presidency in 2024. And he's gonna make this political say, oh, see, they're just going after me because they hate MAGA, they hate you. And Merrick Garland is allowing that to happen. The Joe Biden Justice Department is sitting on his hands while Donald Trump gears up for another campaign and they're giving him the ammunition to say, you see, it was a perfect phone call. He did it after the Mueller report. He came out and said, totally exonerated, totally exonerated, even though Robert Mueller with his own flapping lips said this is in no way an exoneration of Donald Trump. But it doesn't matter to MAGA world. And for those of you who still act like Merrick Garland is doing everything he can and thorough is better than, than quick, why is it that people like Fannie Willis, the district attorney, the lowly district attorney of Fulton County, who has far fewer resources in Fulton County than the United States Justice Department, why is she able to, to, to stand up an investigation and see results? I'm gonna read a little bit from this New York Times headline, this New York Times headline, seven Trump allies subpoenaed in Georgia criminal investigation. Rudy Giuliani, Lindsey Graham, John Eastman, and several others in the former president's orbit were subpoenaed in the election meddling inquiry. So Fannie Willis is able to get some results, subpoena some butts in seats, get them to testify under oath, compel their testimony. Yet we have not seen subpoenas for Rudy Giuliani, Lindsey Graham, others in the Trump orbit from the federal government, from the Department of Justice. You can make all the excuses you want because it's Team D. It's Team Democrat. It's time to step onto the stage of Team America and worry about what is right for the country and not what's right for the party and how the optics look for the Democratic Party. Because if you do that, we're no different than Republicans. Read a little bit from this article. Seven advisors and allies of Donald J. Trump, including Rudy, Rudolph Giuliani and Senator Lindsey Graham, were subpoenaed on Tuesday in the ongoing criminal investigation in Georgia of election interference by Mr. Trump and his associates. The move was the latest sign that the investigation has entangled a number of prominent members of Trump's orbit and may cloud the future for the former president himself, the ex president himself. Because let me tell you, Lindsey Graham, Rudy Giuliani, Jenna Ellis, it's one thing if you go on Newsmax or Fox News or OAN and you lie through your scum teeth. That's one thing. But if you stand before a duly sworn and appointed grand jury and you, you swear an oath, to tell the truth under penalty of perjury, it's a whole different thing. And we will see what kind of lies you spew while under oath, if you have the metal to do that. Because it, remember, it wasn't just Donald Trump making phone calls. Lindsey Graham also called and tried to get the election switched by using the power of his office as a United States Senator for South Carolina. The subpoenas underscore the breadth of the investigation being conducted by Fannie Willis, the district attorney of Fulton County, which encompasses most of Atlanta. She is weighing a range of charges, according to legal filings, including racketeering and conspiracy, and her inquiry has encompassed witnesses beyond the state's borders. The latest round of subpoenas was reported earlier by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. That's the Atlanta paper. A subpoena is not an indication that someone is subject of an inquiry, though some of the latest recipients are considered at risk in the case. 
In particular, Mr. Giuliani, a personal lawyer for Mr. Trump, who has emerged as a central figure in the grand jury proceedings in the Georgia investigation, Mr. Giuliani spent several hours speaking before state legislative panels in December 2020, where he peddled false conspiracy theories about corrupted voting machines and a video that he claimed showed secret suitcases of Democratic ballots. He told members of the State House at the time, quote, you cannot possibly certify Georgia in good faith, end quote. This was absolutely a concerted effort to reverse the election results in Georgia. The duly certified, the fair and free and settled American election in Georgia that not only Rudy Giuliani was the tip of spear on, but Lindsey Graham had a role to play as well. Ms. Willis' office in its subpoena said Mr. Giuliani, quote, possesses unique knowledge concerning communications between himself, ex-president Donald Trump, the Trump campaign, and others known and unknown individuals involved in the multi-state coordinated efforts to influence the results of the 2020 election in Georgia and elsewhere. Though the subpoenas were issued Tuesday, not all had necessarily been received. Robert J. Costello, a lawyer for Mr. Giuliani, said, we have not been served with any subpoena, therefore we have no current comment. Others sent subpoenas included Jenna Ellis, a lawyer who worked closely with Mr. Giuliani to overturn the 2020 election results, John Eastman, the legal architect of a plan to keep Mr. Trump in power using fake electors, and Mr. Graham, Lindsey Graham, the South Carolina Republican who called the sec Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, a fellow Republican days after the election to inquire about the rules for discarding mail-in ballots. So, Mayor Garland, bring it in. Bring it in, brother. You're letting a, a district attorney for a local county in the state of Georgia one-up you. She is doing your job for you. Maybe, maybe Joe Biden should appoint Fannie Willis, Attorney General of these United States. Maybe Merrick Garland should appoint Letitia James as Attorney General of these United States. Because the straight white guy's not getting it done. Am I angry? Yes. Frustrated? You bet. Bothered that consequence seems to elude someone with clear criminal activity right in front of our faces? Yes, I am all those things. What are you? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore just about everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Dollamore. And if I bring you value, if I do something for you that you think uh, uh, does something for you, whether that be a smile or information or the power to rage on <laughs> into your week, please consider supporting my work, helping produce my work right here on the platform. You can click the join button below this video see what's involved, becoming a channel member. For as little as $1.99 a month, just pennies a day, you can help support and produce what I do. Or you can go on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support and produce my work on that particular giving supportment, supporting platform. Supportment. It's a new word. Apparently I'm embodying George W. Bush. <laughs> just making shit up as I go. <laughs> Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Thanks for taking time out of your day. Thanks for caring about the state of our nation and our world in general. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.